Hello OpenXML developers. This is Eric White. Today I am going to discuss how you can use Document Builder to combine headers and footers from one document with the contents, in other words the main document body, of another document. This is the operation that you might want to do when you have a large number of documents in some folder and you want to replace all the headers and all the footers in every one of those documents with some standard set of headers and footers. Further, those headers and footers, they might have images in them, they might have links in them, they can have all kinds of interrelated markup, so Document Builder specializes in resolving such issues with interrelated markup and with just a little bit of tweaking here and there we can use Document Builder to accomplish our task here. Let's get started. I'm starting with the stock version of OpenXML Power Tools Core 2.7.02 although you can do this particular technique with just about any version of Power Tools above 2.0. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unzip this. I always get rid of this extraneous directory there. Now we can go open up the OpenXML Power Tools examples solution. The examples solution contains a reference to the OpenXML Power Tools source code itself. So for doing experiments like this, opening the examples solution is the best thing to do. It's super easy to open it and hack around a little bit here and there and make an example that does what we want. I'm going to right click and click copy as path. And then I'm going to start Visual Studio 2013, although this works just as well with Visual Studio 2012. And as far as I know, there's nothing in the Power Tools source code that prohibits it from working with Visual Studio 2010, but I haven't done that experiment to make sure that it works like that. Let's open our solution. I'll paste in that path that I copied just a minute ago. First thing that I want to do is just make sure that I can rebuild the entire solution. And I can. Now let's go prepare our documents for our experiment. I'm going to modify the documents that we're going to use in this Document Builder 01 example. First thing I'm going to do is make a little document that has headers and footers, and I'm going to make them a little bit complicated. Right click here, I'll say I want a new Microsoft Word document, and I'll call this Headers and Footers and open that in Word. Double click up here. I'll put in my header. I'll tab over here and I'm going to insert an image. A super easy way to get an image is insert a screen clipping. Now it wants some kind of image for the screen clipping. What I can do is just come down here and I'll grab just some amount of the taskbar and now we have an image in the header and I'll leave the contents of the document itself blank. So save that. Oh, one thing before I do that, I'm also going to go into this header and I'm going to add a hyperlink to it and of course I'll add a link to openxmldeveloper.org. Save it and close it. 
I'll copy that name of that document, headers and footers, I copy it to the clipboard and now I'll go into the example document builder 01 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify source 2 and make it say headers and footers.docx now what we're going to do is I'm going to take source 1 but one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these two arguments and this effectively tells it to take the entire document of source 1 but I'm going to modify it here I'm going to tell it false to not take the sections from doc1 so as you might know or if you don't know I'm going to refer you here to this screencast on headers and footers go review that screencast headers and footers are referred to in the section properties for a document this last argument to the source keep sections that says whether we're going to pull in all of the information associated with that section with this document so with this first source one document I'm not going to pull in the headers and footers and now I'm going to add a new source new WML document and this is source two and this is our headers and footers document and the only thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to tell it I want yes true I want to keep sections and then we're going to do the build and output it to out1.docx and as long as I'm here let's just delete all of this other code in the example now we have a super simple example we have source 1 which is a document let's go take a look at that first and you can see it has some content in here mastering text in open xml word processing ml documents and so on it's got a table in there and so on. It, it now this one does have a header up here but because we told it to not keep the sections that header is going to get discarded and we're going to replace that header with our new header in our headers and footers document let's close that and let's run our example press F5 and it runs super quickly let's go to bin debug there's our out1.docx and if I open it I can see that certainly it does have my header and it has that image in there and if I were to come up here and say I want to edit that hyperlink certainly that hyperlink is set up properly it's set up to go to openxmldeveloper.org so there we did it one more thing that I'm going to show you is I'm going to go to the end of this document and you probably wouldn't have seen this but this last paragraph here this paragraph right here came from that headers and footers document so let's say that we didn't want that extra paragraph to come from the headers and footers document well we have a super simple way to accomplish that I am going to just go delete that paragraph using the open XML package editor power tool I'll start Visual Studio 2010 I'll drag the headers and footers document into Visual Studio 2010 double click on document.xml I'll format that XML and here's that paragraph right there well I can just go delete that paragraph so now we have in this document a body element that contains a section property element and that's all now one of the things that's interesting about this is that you can't create such a document like this using word word always will put at least a single paragraph in the document but using the open xml package editor or any of the other varieties of ways where you can go in and modify an open xml document directly 
you can go in and delete that paragraph and Document Builder will happily process that document even though it has no paragraphs in the body element. Let's save that and close it. Come back to our example, press F5, it runs in no time at all. Go to bin debug and now let's look at out1.docx and let's go to the end of the document and what we can now see is that the last paragraph in this document is the last paragraph of the source one document so we've accomplished exactly what we set out to do that's all I'm going to cover in this screencast, short and sweet. Thanks for watching. See you soon.